guys and welcome back again to my youtube channel it's your girl ify and i am back again with another video guys see eh? <laughs> this is my dramatic hair my dramatic hairstyle i made it because of because of this video because this video is going to be full of violence <laughs> violence you know what they call violence uh -huh, exactly it's going to be full of violence okay okay but on a serious note guys this video is going to be everything you are going to see in this video everything you are going to hear in this video it's going to be my personal opinion on your favorite youtubers okay it has nothing to do with their personality in real life okay i'm just going to state how i see them just my opinion it is not fact it is just based on my own personal opinion based on how i watch them um, and how i see them on social media how i watch them what i have observed from them let me use the word assumptions everything you are going to hear from this video are just going to be my assumptions on your favorite youtubers okay it's not something personal most of them i have not met them in real life okay but yeah i watch them on social media some of them i've watched them for years so i am going to base everything on my assumptions of them based on what i have seen so far based on what i have watched in their videos that is what i am going to be telling you guys today i am going to start with abby i'm sure you guys know abby abby is a nigerian youtuber based in canada she lives in canada with her family her um, she has kids four kids and her husband and herself they live in canada and she's one of her favorite youtubers so my assumptions on her from what i have watched in her videos i see her as like someone that is so um family integrated like someone that is family like she loves family so much okay that is how i see her i also see her as someone that is a typical nigerian working mom that is how she looks to me that is how i see her okay whenever i'm watching her that is just what i see someone that loves um family then she will go to work maybe work in a bank come back and focus on her family someone that can do anything to please her family someone that can do anything to please her husband and her family that is how i see abby okay next person on my list is fantastic favor hmm. most of you guys know fantastic favor but hmm. when i discovered fantastic favor newly i used to think that she was this kind of maybe she was um, a deeper life member in nigeria i don't know she gave she gave me deeper life vibes <laughs> I don't know how to say the guy, but I see her as someone that is into church, like someone that does not play with church at all. That was why I said she gives me the deeper life vibes. She give me the, the the vibes of someone that um that she just wants to go to church, then come back to her family. That's that's all. I don't know if you get so <laughs> that is how I see fantastic film. As someone that will just go to church, then come back and stay with her family she does not want to have a job unlike abby now abby someone like her she will go to work i don't know if you get she will go to work her white collar job not not uh, something like entrepreneurship or her own uh, type of business like uh, in abby's case she works for someone she works in a bank all those white collar jobs then she come back to her family to take care of her family that is how i see abby but fantastic favor her own she doesn't just want to work. She doesn't want to do any business. I'm not saying that this is fact though. This is just um, how I see them. So she just wants to go to her church, je -je -je -je, pray, then come back and stay with her family at home. That is how I see fantastic favor. <laughs> I don't know if you guys, <laughs> this sounds funny, but, but honestly, there are people like that in Nigeria. Like, they don't want to, um, they just want to go to church. Every day they are in the church. Okay, one of my uncle's wife then was like that. Every day she's in the church. She'll just go to church and come back and stay with her family. That is all she wants to do in this life. So, that's my assumptions on fantastic favor. Okay? So, the next person 
I'll be having an assumption on is Wodemaya. Guys, Wodemaya give me that um how would I, uh, guys the kind of vibes Wodemaya give me. She gives me the vibe of someone that wants to be a good person. Someone that wants to please people. I don't know if you get like he gives me the vibe of um uncle. <laughs> You know those your peacemaker uncles them now hey, the uncle that will just be on the side waiting for maybe if you have um uh, issues with your sister or if there is uh, anything that you are not doing right the uncle will not come yeah hey emeka come why is this thing not like this this is how you are supposed to do it oh well, yeah do this one like this do this one like this do this one like this those kind of African, typical African uncle. Those uncles that all they want in their lives is for everything, everybody to do the right thing. Oh yeah, do this one. You, do this one. You, do this one. Yeah, to just, and they don't care. Even if you're having issues with your sister, your sibling or anybody at all. When your uncle comes, your uncle does not want to hear who is wrong and who is right. What he wants to do is to make, to make you guys to uh make you guys work together again i don't know if you get so that's the vibes i get from with him that's the vibes he gives me each time i i watch him <laughs> that's that's just what i assume he's someone that does not want he's someone that wants everybody to be at peace like you must be at peace by fire by force i don't know if you get so that is um my assumptions on him and um the next person I am going to be assuming on is Nelo Okeke. Okay, okay. Omo, do you know the vibes I get from Nelo? <laughs> do you know the vibes I get from Nelo? Nelo gives me the vibes of onion what? I don't know if you get... <laughs> I don't know if you get what I mean by onion what. Onion what means... Um, onion what is in Igbo. It's just a slang in Igbo. But what it means is... Someone that likes to chop life, like chop life gang. Uh -huh. That's the word, chop life gang. That's how I see Nelo. Whenever I see her, what goes through my mind is, okay, this person is someone that likes to, to chop life, enjoy herself. She's unbothered about work or unbothered about, uh, about she just wants to relax and be taken care of. <laughs> I don't know if you get me. So that's my assumptions on Nelo. <laughs> People are not kill me. I know these people are working for. People are not kill me. I beg. It's not that serious. But honestly, I'm just telling you guys that I know that they are uh, they are worth more than what they show us on on um, on YouTube. Okay, but this is just what goes in my mind. Whenever I see Nelo, I see her as a chop life guy. She just wants to party, have her parties, chop life, travel, have fun, enjoy herself. She doesn't want to know who is beefing her. She doesn't want to know who is uh, who is angry with her. I don't know if you get. So she just wants to enjoy her life. That is the vibe I get from Nelo each time I watch her. Okay, she gives me that on your what kind of life. That shop life gang. That's the vibe I get from Nelo. The next person I am going to be assuming on is Auntie Shinere. I'm not sure there is anyone on YouTube that does not know Auntie Flo Shinere. Auntie Flo. Everybody know her, okay? You guys, you know her, okay? So when I see her, she gives me the rich auntie, the rich auntie vibe, that kind of rich auntie that that um that is unmarried. Those unmarried rich auntie, they'll just stay on their own. What they want to do is they just want to come and spoil their um their nieces and their nephews. That's the kind of vibe I get from Auntie Shere. She just walk, make her money, then come and spoil her nieces, her nephews and her nieces. Okay? That is the vibe I get from Auntie Shere. Like, that's the vibe I get from her whenever I see her. She does not have her own kids and she does not want to have, but she wants to spoil um her sister kids with good things, with money, with goodies, with... She just wants to spoil you, okay? And live her life. That is the vibe I get from Auntie Flo Shinere. <laughs> so, the next person I will be assuming on is Banta with NJ. Guys, Banta with NJ. See, let me tell you guys. The first day I got to know the girl through Nelo. I got, I got to know her from Nelo. So, when I got to know her, I started watching her. She gave me this baby of the house kind of vibe. Like, 
you know those children that they don't use love spoiler and they don't show her love they don't use love as in the love is too much on her so she can't they do she know what what like she just be mommy's pet mommy and daddy's pet kind of person that is how i see banter with angel she speaks so softly like a spoiled child yeah, those ones that their mama and papa get money where well, where, well, but they are using the money to take care of only her. I don't know if you get me. Like nobody will come close to her. If you touch her and eh, her parents go deal with you. Like her parents' favorites. That is how I see Banta with Angel. Like I see her as a um, pet of the house. I see her as the baby of the house. I see her as her parents' favorite child. That is how I see her, okay? And she's so soft. I see her as this kind of soft person that if you um if you shout at herself, she will start crying. <laughs> you guys, you guys, please don't. No, don't kill me, boy. Honestly, that is how I see Banta with Angel. I, I see her as someone that is too soft, okay? That is how I see her. The last but not the least person I'll be assuming on is Diana Ikweme. You guys, you also know Diana now. Diana is is a big YouTuber, okay? He's a big YouTuber, just like the people I, I talked about earlier. So, each time I think of Diana, I see Diana as someone that is physically strong, that she can even use her hand to break a metal. That is how I see Diana. I see Diana as someone that is very strong, physically strong, that can take up a thousand army, only her, and defeat all of them. That is just how I see her, okay? And I also see her as someone that is, someone that is, if you offend her, yeah? If you offend her, she will find it very difficult to forgive you. She likes to stay on her own. And if you offend her, she will find it very difficult to forgive you. That is how I see Diana. <laughs> I also have my assumptions on our other favorite um, YouTubers, okay? Well, as you know, if I talk about every of our favorite YouTubers here, this video is going to be too long, okay? Yeah, but I, I hope that this video entertained you, okay? This video was not meant to um, diminish anybody. It was not, like I said at the beginning of this video, everything you hear here, everything you see here is not facts. They are not facts. It's just my, my assumptions on them. It's just what I think, just assumptions. And I hope you guys don't take it to heart, okay? It's just an assumption, okay? Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please click on that subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so you'll get notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!